Membership signing ceremonies are a tremendously important time in the life of the congregation. We are building beloved community with compassion, service, and empowerment. That is our mission. And one person at a time leaning in and being a part of this community helps us and we believe helps them. There's synergy and love and courage and hope in these relationships building one day at a time. So today I'm really honored to be up here with Lisa and Jen, the, uh, the chair of the welcoming committee and the president of the board as we will uh, welcome four friends to the life of the community formally as members. I'm Jen Leiby. I'm the president of the Board of Trustees, and I just want to say a warm welcome to all of our new signers today. Um, there is an African proverb that says, if you want to go far, or no, nope, start over, erase it. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And we are thrilled that you are joining us on our journey to the far, far reaches of the possible. Welcome to the Unitarian Society of Germantown. Hello, I'm Lisa Dutton, chair of the welcoming team, and I'm delighted and honored to welcome the following people to membership. Please come forward when I call your name to sign the book with Kent and receive your name tag in the book, Our Chosen Faith, from Jen, while I read your bio. So first, we have Tim Durkin. Tim was raised in Sao Paulo, Brazil, son of an American father and a Brazilian mother. He was raised in the Catholic faith and began attending Unitarian services with his wife, Anna. He's a data analyst for PICO, and his interests include culinary arts, history, and hiking. Welcome, Tim. Why don't we hold our applause till everyone signs? Okay. Uh, next is Anna Hankins. Anna is a third-generation Unitarian Universalist raised in the Lake Fellowship in Northeastern Connecticut. She has lived in Connecticut, Minnesota, Seattle, Texas, New Mexico, and Kenya, but is happy to now call Philadelphia home. Anna practices as a reproductive and maternal health nurse and believes that her faith informs her work to make the world a more unjust and loving place for mothers and families in Philadelphia. Her favorite hymn is We'll Build a Land. Nice. Anna lives in Mount Airy with two cats, six chickens, and her husband, Tim. I don't know why she put him last, but we'll work. The first shall be last. And they are expecting a baby early next year. Welcome, Anna. Next is Deborah Lynn. Deborah is a seasoned yoga and meditation leader with a particular emphasis on yoga for healthy aging. She moved to Philadelphia a year ago to stay close to the two loves of her life, her grandson Enzio and her daughter Alana. To Deborah, stepping inside the door of USG feels like heaven on earth. A sacred place for tapping into the realm of divinity. Welcome, Deborah. And our final person today is Joanna Moyer. Joanna lives in Mount Airy and enjoys taking in the beauty of the Wissahickon and being involved with the community around her. USG has served as a place of spiritual sanctuary and guidance for Joanna in times where she faced difficult life decisions, and it has served as a place of intellectual stimulation and spiritual buoyancy in times where secular life just felt drab. Joanna is a high school teacher who looks forward to continuing her spiritual journey and deepening her connection to community as she explores what it means to be part of all that is USG. Welcome, Joanna.
So be sure to meet the new members during fellowship hour if you haven't met them already.